Well, what's been going on at Zippo's? You guys haven't heard much from me here recently. Uh, been pretty busy. Haven't been able to get any videos out, so I thought I'd do a quick uh, video update. I've got Trader sitting over there, patiently waiting her chance. Um, got a 64 landlord sitting here. This 64 landlord has one of the old rubber and steel plate vulcanized isolator slash drive shaft couplers that has come out has come apart causing a lot of vibration um, but that's not the biggest problem with this old girl here uh, it's got a 15 horse replacement and as such a B10 grill that has the proper cutout here for the uh, balance gears on the engine so I do have the original grill here it's actually in pretty good shape we'll get her tilted back here and take a look at it so that'll be going back on um, initially it was here for me to make the repairs and uh, this is my brother Chris's uh, Bad Moon's boys tractor Christopher pup June bug and um, the uh, issue is going to become real evident here in just a second with uh, what's going on with it but what wound up happening I took a loaner over to him so he could still mow and whatnot and the loaner that I took over was my old 64 B10 and uh, he, he absolutely fell in love with it so uh, I just went ahead told him so I tell you what <clears throat> I know you love the B10 so keep the B10 and I'll fix the landlord and put the landlord to work here on the uh, Zippo ranch so anyway let's get uh, into the nitty-gritty and see what exactly is going on here transmission looks all right it's actually got an old original simplicity belt on it that's about had it but uh, let's keep looking Anybody see what the problem is? I gotta hold the hood up. So let me get in real close. How about that? The frame is cracked from the backing plate and just on this side. And this was a weak link with uh, with these tractors and it is a known problem and they did fix it uh, after a couple years and realizing that this was a weak link what they did was just extended the frame <coughs> and uh, welded the mounting plate that mounts to the bevel gearbox in the frame deeper instead of all the way out at the bitter edge of the frame uh, which which cured this uh, splitting problem and I've seen it on a couple of other tractors after the repairs never uh, never before a repair so it has just barely started cracking on the other side so I'm gonna weld this up straighten everything out while I'm at it since the dash and everything's got to come apart for me to replace the drive shaft I'm gonna go ahead and throw a hydro in it but a uh, few things need to come off of it and go back over to Junebug the right hand lift needs to go on the B10 where's the ags will go and then uh, it's got uh, four hubcaps those will go back over to him his spinner knob um, just a couple things the B10 grill here is a late B10 needs to go with a B10 uh, that, that was my brother's that we'll be putting together and also the deck uh, I don't know why Chris never put he, uh, he just didn't like putting the belt covers back on for some reason but anyway uh, the deck that's on the B10 that I gave to Christopher is uh, a rebuilt deck so it's going to come back over here and get used and then if this deck needs any repairs I'll do that and get that over to him but that's one thing that's going on another thing that's going on uh, I a while back I picked up um, pretty close to a complete B110 uh, see you've got the hood there there's the frame there's the dash tower and then we'll step out here go back behind the shop where all the stuff is piled 
burn ring and everything else. Here's another 64 landlord frame. I can get a little closer to it and show you how they did this. It wasn't a full and complete weld all the way around, inside and out, like it should have been. Um, and so what they did to remedy this being a weak link here was simply extending the length of the frame as you can see here on this B110 frame and then welding that plate inside and out all the way around. That eliminated that cracking and breakthrough problem. Uh, just a longer frame, a little bit longer frame. And there's the uh, inner dash tower, dash support for the B110 so and it's complete with axle and spindles and everything so uh, the only piece of the uh, puzzle that was missing for the B110 was I planned on making a hydrostat a, a, like an HB112 and the only thing that was missing was a, hy a Vickers hydro rear end I forgot to mention there's the seat up there with my sign so there's the seat. So I've got everything to put it together, including the Vickers Hydro. Uh, this actually came off of a 3416, and I'm going to have to make some uh, alterations to the linkages and whatnot. Um, but for the most part, got a full build to put an entire tractor together here. So I'll have another hydro. You guys might want, and of course my engines are back here. There's a 16 horse that's going to go in it. You guys might wonder um, why I'm going to go ahead and build an HB112. It'll actually be an HB116, I guess. Uh, quite simply, I sold Goldie. Uh, it's going to a very good home. It's in transit now on its way up via Fastenal to uh, Wisconsin to uh, a friend of mine. And uh, in fact, it's the gentleman that I got those big fat tires from right there. So, at any rate, dropped it off on Tuesday. So it's on its way up there to him. And I know it'll uh, be in good company as other HBs up there that he puts to work. So, anyway, that is pretty much what's going on here at Zippo's, other than doing repairs on other people's stuff. Um, this will need to get put together relatively quickly, because right now, the only mower we've got in the mix is Ugly Alice. And, uh, I always like to have two mowers at the ready. And, got me some Ambrosia Sweet Corn! Gonna be yumming on that this weekend. Um, anyway, that about wraps up just a real quick brief of uh, what's going on here with uh, the projects. Mini Lord, um, I need to get over to Winchester and pick up the engine for it. But uh, Mini Lord is, uh, you know, if I went and picked up the engine, she'd only be a day away from being ready to go. Uh, that's the seat that was on the old landlord. I'm just going to put this seat on it since it's going to be a working tractor. This one was really nicely recovered by a gentleman in Marion, Indiana. And uh, although it's not factory like that with a rolled edge, it still presents really well and it looks uh, a lot like the stock. It's actually got more padding. It's a lot more comfortable. What he did was made it and wrap, rolled it around, reinforced the uh, bitter end and then riveted to the underside of the seat pan to uh, attach the uh, material to it. So a really nice job. But anyway, there you have it. Those are the uh, current projects going on here. Got to get a belt guard for, get a belt guard made for Trader right here. And I've got a lot of people saying, just leave it like it is. Don't paint it, don't do this, don't do that. It, it kind of bugs me, but at the same time, a rat rod is just an in the rough tractor, so maybe Trader will stay pretty much like she is now. We'll see. I'm definitely going to put some orange accents on her, though, on the wheels. Um, but at any rate, that's what's going on. This is the Bose World, bringing you all in for a little visit. You know the rest.